So the topic for today is using Python and Jupyter Notebooks to help you build your own learning knowledge graphs. Yeah. In the about a week ago, I talked about how we at France have built together with several large companies uh, event-driven knowledge graphs. And one of the interesting features of our knowledge graphs is that we take the output of advanced analytics and machine learning and we put the results back as triples in the knowledge graph so that we ultimately create a learning environment. So, and you might have seen in my presentations uh, pictures like this where we do a knowledge graph in healthcare and where for about 10,000 diff different types of symptoms, I can instantly show the disease graph around any other disease. So all the things that are, say, related in this case to peanut allergy or I have all these patients with symptoms and I can do a cluster analytics. And here you see the output of a cluster an analytics in graph. You see the, the cluster, the main factors, how particular patients load on the cluster, etc., etc. So this is one of the really, really cool things of our knowledge graph, but how can you make that yourself? Well, a lot of our work is done in Python. Yeah, and what we see is we see a serious increase of customers using Python as a client language language for Lego graph and knowledge graphs, and it probably reflects the fact that Python Python is one of the most popular languages for data science. Here you see a cool uh, picture from a blog on Fosbytes.com where you show that Python is by far well by far the most uh, favorite language now for machine learning and data science, and so at France. We uh, decided to focus on uh, one, a really deep integration of Allegro Graph with data science using the Python uh, Anaconda environment. And to make it easier to learn uh, Allegro Graph with Python using Jupyter Notebooks. So I'm guessing that people in the audience that know Python already know about Anaconda. Yeah, It's by far the biggest. Uh, well, Anaconda is a packaging system for Python. I mean, if you try to install any complex Python program without a packaging environment, you go completely crazy because of all the different versions of various uh, 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 parts and modules that you need. So Anaconda was created to make it very easy to create virtual environments yeah, where it takes completely automatically care of all the interdependencies. And Allegro Graph is now also part of Anaconda. So you just can say Conda minus C France Inc. IA Graph dash Python and Allegro Graph Python API will be part of your uh, uh, environment. And then, of course, I guess most people in the audience also know about Jupyter Notebooks. Yeah, the life of a data scientist hap happens a lot in these Jupyter Notebooks. Basically, it's a web interface where you can create notes. For each note contains some Python code or any of the other 39 languages that are supported in Jupyter, and you can add text to explain what you do in each step, and you can even add graphics, etc. But the ultimate goal of Jupyter being there is that you can take your Jupyter notebook with the entire script of what you did and give it to other scientists yeah, that can then can repeat what you did or use it as their begin step for their types of analytics. So it's a very nice environment to play in and to work in. So as I said, we made it very easy for you to get going. Yeah, so if you go to our front website, developers and documentation, you get to the Jupyter Notebook tutorial. Let me do that for you. So I'm starting, uh, I'm going to france.com. Then you click on developers, you go to the Lego Graph docs. Um, you scroll down a little bit, and here you find Python. There's a, a web version of Python tutorial, and then there's the Jupyter Notebook, Notebook tutorial. Um, we created some scripts to get going. So here's just the setup and installation that you can type in your own uh, uh, personal environment in a VM or whatever Linux environment that you have. Install. This is where you install Anaconda. But I, what we show here, by the way, is Miniconda, which is um, also provided by Anaconda, but it's a slightly smaller environment to get you going faster. In general, I would recommend Anaconda if you do serious work. Um, then a few lines to get a Lego graph going, to start the server, to download the notebook that I'm going to show you today. Um, and then we show here how you actually install 
um, a graph Python in an AG notebook, um, you start the environment, and then within that environment, you start the notebook. Yeah, I'm not going to explain this in detail. Just try it out. I mean, we've tested it out, and it will just work. Yeah, so this is how to get your notebook going. And then um, I can go to uh, my notebook. So I'm here in my VM. I type in. Uh, yeah, so here is now my notebook that I started. Yeah, um, a few words about this. So by the way, it's depending on how much you know about Allegro Graph and how much you know about triple storage in general and Python, it's going to take you anywhere from one hour to four hours to get through this entire tutorial. But it's a step-by-step -step tutorial. It also helps, helps if you go from top to bottom, although most examples can be used independently, most chapters. The first note here looks a little bit complicated, but that's so that we can create this little widget here where you can type the local the, the, the host name, the port, the username, and the password that you want to use. So uh, this is what they call a note in Jupyter Notebooks. You click on Run. Yeah, it will create this widget. You can give another computer name here. And then the tutorial starts. Yeah, The first thing we talk about, that there's actually a hierarchy in a server. So you have the server object, the server, which has a server object. Then within the server, we have multiple catalogs. A catalog is just like a subdirectory within the server. The importance of this is that if you have multiple file systems where you want to store your triple stores, then you can specify per catalog where your disks are, what you want to do. Or if you have special settings for a particular type of triple store, then you can also um, assign those properties to a catalog and then um, and work from there. Then within catalogs, you finally have your repositories, the actual triple store that you want to work with, and you can get a connection. This comes from uh, the the old of uh, the, the the Java Sesame. this and you get going. So that's all I'm going to do because there's so much stuff. And as I said, it's going to take an hour. Um, let's see. We talk about, um, oh, by the way, within each of the notes, the text notes, we can always click on the links and find the, all the documentation. Yeah? So it's integrated with our um, Python reference system. Yeah, so you can always find all the documentation for a function that is used here. And then all the way at the bottom, just for fun, I had a here a little geospatial example. Yeah, so our idea is that once we have this whole notebook going, the system, we can over time uh, do various notebooks about various topics. So in about a month, I'm going to talk about doing some data science examples uh, with these notebooks. And here is a fun example of a geospatial where we take um, permits for restaurants on the east part of San Francisco. We, we find for every restaurant the uh, latitude and the longitude. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. We, fi we find this file here that you can find here. Um, and it has all the restaurants, their latitude and the longitudes, and what kind of permit they have. So we actually read it in. We create triples, and then when we run this particular notebook, we get a nice map of San Francisco. I can here click on, um, say, a part of the graph of the, or the map. Yeah. And when I click on that, it will show here all the um, restaurants that have a particular uh, uh, permit. And that's all I wanted to say for today yeah. about 
this particular tutorial that you will have to try it for yourself. Um, let me go back to my presentation. Uh, sorry about that. Let's go back to the presentation here. Yeah, so I did for you a quick tour. And again, depending on how much you know, it's, you can at the fastest do it in about an hour. Um, I showed you a little geospatial example, but that was just an example because we're going to do data science and there's many other things that we can do for you. Just let us know what you really want. Yeah. In this case, um, in this case, um, we wanted to show off our n-dimensional uh, capabilities because we're truly the only triple store where in an object of a triple, you can have up to seven dimensions and then do very fast search within these dimensions and still support polygons. Uh, but have fun with the example yourself and play with it. And then finally summarizing, so we make it very e easy for you to use Anaconda and Jupyter Notebooks with the Lego Graph. Try it and ask questions if you have trouble and send email to support at France.com. Ask us for notebooks on particular topics and next month will be a data science example. Okay, that was it for today.